we talk about the degrees of an adjective degree of an adjective we will talk about degrees of an adjective so adjectives have uh, has got three degrees we call number one that is called positive degree number two that is called comparative and the third one we call it superlative superlative degree of an adjective so these are the three degrees of an adjective you want to talk about the degrees over here uh, so let's come towards the first one and that is called what we call it positive degree of an adjective so the first one positive degree of an adjective remember the positive degree of an adjective clear it talks about either the positive or negative quality of a noun for example, that is singular. If I say good boy, Ali is a good boy. Now, can you see this is noun and it talks about the positive degree of a noun? It talks about the positive. So, we call good is a degree of an adjective. Which degree it is called? It is called positive degree of an adjective. If I say Ali is a bad boy, so it talks about the negative degree clear of what of a noun so remember whenever adjective is in its basic form it's in basic degree we call it positive degree of an adjective clear for example this is a new marker we talk about only about an adjective clear about a noun we use an adjective for the noun so we call it what we call it positive degree of an adjective after this the second degree of an adjective that we want to talk about that is called comparative Now, from the, from the name, it's clear that comparative degree of an adjective is used to compare. To compare what? To compare two things, to compare two people, two persons, I can say, or to compare two places. To compare one thing with another thing, to compare one person with another person, or to compare one place with another place, we use what comparative forms of an adjective. For example, let's talk about when, whenever you want to do comparison, remember, whenever you want to do comparison, so always use comparative form of an adjective if you are talking to people. Like if I want to compare Peshawar, Peshawar with Islamabad, suppose. I want to compare Peshawar's weather with Islamabad weather. So how can I say Peshawar, for example, Peshawar is hotter, Peshawar is hotter than Islamabad. So now can you see, I compared Peshawar with Islamabad with the help of what comparative form of an adjective, hotter. So the com in comparative form of an adjective, we use comparative form of adjective as well. In comparative degree of an adjective, we use comparative form of an adjective. Hot is positive degree of an adjective. Hotter is the comparative form of an adjective. You cannot say that Peshawar is hot than Islamabad. That is incorrect. How can you say Peshawar is hotter than Islamabad? For example, this is class and this is class A. And we have another class that is class B. And I want to say that class A is smaller than class B. So I'm comparing class A with class B. So this small, smaller. Small is positive degree of an adjective. Smaller is comparative degree of an adjective. If I say, for example, Ali. Ali is short, shorter, shorter than Ahmad. So now, I have used Ali to compare Ali with Ahmad. I'm comparing his height, both of their heights. So Ali is shorter than Ahmad. So we use comparative degree of an adjective, short, shorter. Keep in your mind that after comparative degree of an adjective and comparative, uh, uh, after comparative form of an adjective, we use then and comparative degree of an adjective. Shorter than, smaller than, hotter than, colder than. So that then is very important over here for us. So that's how we compare one thing with another thing, one person with another person or one place with another place. Now let's talk about the superlative degree of an adjective. In superlative degree of an adjective, we compare one person with 
a group of people to compare one person with a group of people or one thing with a group of things or to compare one place with a group of places so this is comparison of one thing with a group of things one person with a group of people one place with a group of places for example if i say peshawar is the hottest city in pakistan now can you see peshawar is one city and in pakistan we have got many cities so to compare one city with a group of cities so we use what we use superlative degree of an adjective hot hotter is comparative form hottest is superlative degree so remember the before superlative degree of an adjective we use what we use the is the hottest city in pakistan for example if i say may is the shortest month of the year in a year we have got 12 months so may is the what is the shortest month of the year so that's what we can we we, we can use that of uh, superlative degree of an adjective now very important thing that we are we want to move here after this that is the rules what sort of rules we can use to change from positive to comparative and from comparative to superlative let's talk about the rules so we have got number one rule for to change from positive to comparative and comparative to superlative so we have got some rules and what are those rules number one if you have an adjective and that is one syllable if an adjective there is one syllable only one syllable for example if i say uh, small can you see it's one syllable adjective small so in this case to change from positive to comparative or superlative we will do what to a we will add er with to change from to, from positive to comparative smaller just we put we need to put er or we will put est uh, to change to superlative for example smallest small est smallest when one adjective the adjective there is one syllable add er and comparative and est and superlative this is er and this is est for example number two rule number two if you have one syllable adjective if an adjective you have one syllable but it's one syllable but it follows this formula remember this one of the formulas in your mind if it consonant plus vowel plus consonant then we need to double the last consonant to change from pos positive to comparative and superlative let me give you an example if i say hot can you see this is consonant this is consonant in the middle we have got vowel sound so now what we will do to change comparative so first of all hot we need to double the last consonant the last consonant would be what double in this case hot and you will put er in comparative in the same way hot double t last consonant would be double and you will put what est hottest for example if i say big the same formula it's one syllable but it follows this formula what i have written consonant vowel consonant this is consonant vowel consonant again we will double the last consonant big and we will put what er double the consonant er in comparative biggest est and the end and you will double the consonants over here rule number third if you have an adjective and there is that ends with y for example if an adjective ends with y change y into i and put er in comparative and est and superlative for example if i say happy this is positive degree of an adjective and how can you change into happy happier y will change into what i happy and you will put er in comparative happier and in superlative again happy y will change into i and est into superlative whatever the adjective you have that is it ends with y like lazy l a z y so what you will do l a z i 
Y change into I and you will put I E R. Lazier. I E E S T. Lazier, laziest. So this is another rule to change from one to another. Next, rule number four. If an adjective you have and there is more than one syllable adjective. If an adjective is more than one syllable. For example, if I say intelligent. Intelligent. Now can you see intelligent is more than one syllable. So how can I say to change to comparative you will put more. More intelligent. Or you can say the negative less. Less intelligent. Ali is more intelligent than Ahmad. Or Ali is less intelligent than Ahmad. Or superlative you will put most. Or least. So you can say Ali is the most intelligent student in the class or Ali is the least intelligent student in the class. So remember, whenever you have more than one syllable adjectives, clear? So how you will do, you will put more or less in comparative before comparative and most and least with that of superlative degree of an adjective. Thank you so much.